Howdy folks, I am Mr. Ryan and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how you can be successful in one of my courses. I am a very routine kind of person and I set up my classes, I design my courses so that when people get into a routine of learning and assessing they will be successful. Then all you have to do is complete the routine. So what I want to do in this particular video is I want to show you the routines that I expect you to set up and what it is that you need to do to be successful in this course. All right, to start off with, let's talk about what you're going to finish with because probably the thing that you care most about in this class is the grade that you're going to get at the end. Now, personally, I think that is not the way to start off. I actually think that you, the thing that you should care about the most in this class is learning. You should ignore your grade entirely and just try and learn as much as you can. Then, hopefully, your grade will just turn out what you wanted it to be to begin with. Okay, I believe that is the ideal for somebody who is in college and learning. But I'm also not dumb, okay? I'm not blind, I'm not ignorant to the fact that most students really think the thing that they care about the most or are most concerned about is their grade, okay? And so let's go ahead and talk about your grade. I try to make the course as simple as possible. To me, less is more. Now that doesn't mean less means fewer questions, but I mean fewer assignments. There are only 16 assignments the entire semester. There are 12 quizzes, and there are three unit exams, and then there is one final exam. Now that one final exam covers the entire semester. So you will have questions uh, that, that you might get on all three unit exams on the final exam. Or you'll have questions that would be on all 12 any of the 12 quizzes on the final exam. We call that a comprehensive final exam. Each quiz is worth 40 points. Points? What are points, Mr. Ryan? Well, points are uh, another way of calculating a grade. I basically, instead of doing percentages, because some people get confused with percentages, I just do everything out of 1,000 points. And then what I do is I just move the decimal point over one place, and then you have your final grade. So if somebody gets 1,000 points, you move the decimal point over one, one place, and they have a 100 in the class. If somebody gets 800 points, that's an 80 in the class. If somebody gets 752 points, that's a 75.2 in the class. Okay? So each quiz is worth 40 points, which basically means that each quiz is worth 4% of your final grade. If you multiply that by 12, you get 480 points, which is 48% of your final grade. So your final grade is determined, 48% of it is determined by your quizzes. Okay? The three unit exams, so the ex unit exams are a little heavier. Okay? They're 130 points each. Now that's more than three quizzes. So every one exam is worth more than three quizzes. Okay? So that's very important or 13% of your final grade. 130 times 3 is 390 points. That's 39% of your final grade. There is only one final exam, and that one exam is also worth 130 points. So the final exam has the exact same strength or the exact same size of an effect on your grade as each of the unit exams. It's 130 points or 13% for a total of 130 points or 13% because there's only one of them. And if you were to add up all of these points here, 480 plus 390 plus 130, that's 1,000 points. If you add up 48% plus 39% plus 13%, that's 100%. And this is how your whole grade is going to stack up. If you are in one of my economics classes in Canvas, you can just go into the gradebook in Canvas and it will tell you what your grade is so far. A typical college semester has 16 weeks. And what I like to do is I like to break down those 16 weeks into even chunks. Now the very last week of the course, week 16, is going to be devoted just to your final exams. In colleges, that is generally referred to as finals week. 
everyone on the whole campus is taking final exams during that week, maybe writing some papers, but for me, it's just the final exam in week 16. That leaves me 15 other weeks for three units. So I divide each one evenly. The first unit is weeks one through five. The second unit is weeks six through 10. The third unit is weeks 11 through 15. Now, the first four weeks of a unit are exactly the same. You're gonna do two lessons. Each lesson represents a day of learning. So if we were in class, you would come into my classroom twice a week. The first time you'd get lesson one, the second time you'd get lesson two. That would be all the learning for the week. And then at the end of the week on Sunday, well before Sunday, you'll take the quiz. And that's what you're gonna do every week. You're gonna do two lessons and a quiz, two lessons and a quiz, two lessons and a quiz, two lessons and a quiz. That's four weeks. Then on the fifth week, there will be no new learning. That entire week will be spent reviewing for the exam and taking the exam. Then, once that first unit is over, we'll go into unit two, weeks six through 10. Again, two lessons, then a quiz, 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 and then you'll review for and take exam two. Same exact thing for weeks 11 through 15. Now, a part of each one of these weeks is going to include practice um, and review four of the lessons for the quiz. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna go into what you're gonna do each week. Now in each week, there are gonna be two lessons or two days, okay? So if I'm teaching it in class, I call it two days, okay? But if it's online, I typically just call it a lesson because I don't know how, how much time you're gonna spend on the lessons or if you're all do them all in one day. So there's really only four things that you have to do every week on a, in a normal week of learning, okay? Uh, you're gonna do, uh, so for example, you'll do the first lesson, so let's say on one particular week, I guess this would be, uh, this would be week seven, um, you would do lesson 11, then you would do lesson 12. Now you can do them both in the same day or you can split them up, you can put a day between, okay, or you can spend money on Tuesday on lesson 11, uh, um, Wednesday and Thursday on lesson 12, you can do them all on Friday if you want to, uh, that, that's at your discretion, okay? But after you've done uh, both of the lessons, and I'm gonna, in, a, in just a few minutes, I'm gonna go over what it means to do one day or one lesson, okay? After you've done all the lessons and done all your learning and taken notes and maybe done some practice, okay? You will then take a practice quiz. Now, the practice quiz, you can take it as many times as you want. You can take it as many times as you can in one week, okay? But um, you have to take it, I recommend taking it before you take the graded quiz. You can take it as many times as you want and after you take it, you can look at the answers and it will show you what the correct answers are and it'll show you which ones that you got wrong so that you can keep practicing until you can do as well as you can. After you are done practicing, taking the practice quiz, you can then attempt the graded quiz. Now the graded quiz, you can only take it one time. It's not a, it's not a hey, can I take it a second time and get a, you know, only 80% of the score? Nope, you take it once and that is all. You can get all your practice in. If you wanna take something multiple times, take the practice quiz multiple times and they're gonna be similar to each other. Then when you take the graded quiz, you can take it only once I will not reveal the correct answers after you're done and I will not tell you which ones you got wrong. It will be a complete mystery. All you will have after you take the graded quiz is a number, a number of points and that will be your grade. The graded quizzes are always due by midnight every single Sunday, well, in, in a normal week. Uh, on the weeks where you have an exam, the exam will be due um, by a particular time but it might not necessarily be Sunday but all of the quizzes are always due by Sunday at midnight in the week of the lessons that cover that particular quiz. So now what I wanna do is I wanna talk about what, you're, what you'll be expected to do for each lesson. 
Now, for each lesson or each day, it's very simple. You click on the lesson, okay, maybe a folder or a module or something like that, and there will be one to six video lectures that you need to watch. Now, they're on YouTube, so you can open them up in YouTube. You might even be able to watch them on your phone or on a tablet. Uh, also, you can usually change the speed. If you want to increase the speed to double time or 1.5 times, you can get through it faster. Okay, That's assuming you understand uh, what's being said in the lecture. If it's going too fast, you may need to slow it down. Okay, You need to watch all of the videos and take notes. Now, I recommend taking notes on paper. I understand that you can take notes by typing it into a Word document or something like that, and maybe that's fine for you. But if you have never tried taking notes on paper, I highly recommend taking notes on paper. There's a connection between the pen and your hand and your brain. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, I've been doing this for a long time, and I always do my best learning by writing out because I can see in my own handwriting, and my brain has this connection with my own handwriting that helps me understand. Okay, Sort of slows things down so that my brain can process it. Okay, um, in some classes, not all of my classes, and not all, not every single lesson, there will be some practice problems, a PDF uh, of of a bunch of practice problems. Okay, and what I recommend you do is either print out the PDF or transfer them. You know, just write them one at a time into your notebook and work out all of the practice problems. If there are practice problems that go along with the lesson, then there will also be an answer key. It'll have all of the answers to all the practice problems so that you can check your answers as you go. Okay? Now you might say, well, uh, why would you include the answers to an assignment that you expect us to do? Well, because I'm not grading it. This is not a graded assignment. This is just for you to learn and get better at what it is that I explained in the lectures. And that's for you. That's not for me. And you may say, well, then how do you know that I'm going to do it? I don't know whether you're going to do it. But you'd be a fool not to do it. Consider this. If I, if I was a doctor and you came to me and said, well, I have a problem. And I said, um, well, I have some medicine for that. And I gave you a prescription. And then you go down to the pharmacy and you get the prescription. And it says on this thing to take one every six hours. And you're taking them three times a day. Okay. If you don't take the medicine that the doctor gives you, you should not expect to get better. You should not expect that your ailment is going to go away. Well, if I give you some practice problems, that's my prescription for learning. These video lectures are my prescription for learning and understanding. So if you come to the exams or the quizzes or the final exam and you don't understand, but you also didn't watch the videos, you didn't take notes, and you didn't work out the practice problems, well, I have nothing for you. If you say, well, I need some help, I don't, you know, is there something I can do to improve? My first question is going to be, are you taking notes? Are you writing them on paper? Are you working out all of the practice problems? Are you checking your answers? Are you doing the practice quizzes three, four, or five times? Okay. Now, you may only need to do the practice quiz one time and you're good. But if you're having trouble, you should be doing those practice quizzes a few times. Okay? All right. So that's the, um, this, everything I've just gone over is how to be successful in my course. If you have any questions about this, I'll help you. What we're going to do right now is I'm, we're now going to switch over to me at the computer and I'm going to show you how to log into the course and I'm going to show you how to navigate through the pages in the course. Howdy folks. So here I am. I'm sitting at my laptop. I got my coffee. I've got my materials ready to learn. I'm about to do some online learning. Uh, and uh, I'm going to watch a lecture and I'm going to take some notes. And then after I'm done with the lecture and taking the notes, I'll be prepared to work on some practice problems, maybe take a practice quiz and that sort of thing. Okay. So I've got a calculator here. This is a graphing calculator. You probably don't need one of those, but if you have one, that'll work. A scientific calculator should be just fine. Uh, I've got a pen because I prefer to write in pen, but I also have a pencil in case I'm a pencil person. By the way, I really like these. If you ever try, the, this is a Ticonderoga mechanical pencil. They're a little expensive, but they are amazing. They feel just like regular pencils, and they write just like regular pencils. 
I've got my graph paper notebook. Now, you may not be a graph paper person, and that's fine, but there are some times in this class where you're going to have to create graphs, so you really should have some graph paper nearby, but I'm the kind of person that even does regular notes on graph paper. And here I am sitting in front of my computer. I'm about to log in to my online class so that I can watch uh, a, a lecture and take some notes, okay? So let's all, uh, let me, why don't you join me inside my computer here, and we'll, uh, we'll start to get a feel for how we learn in this class. Okay, so we want to log into Canvas uh, so that we can uh, start this economics class. So I'm going to go to uh, point dot instructure dot com and press enter. That's going to bring me to the login page for Canvas for Point University. Now what you're going to do is you are going to type in your username. So user, whatever your username is, I'm just user.name and put in your password. So password and then click sign in. Now of course you used your username and password. You didn't actually type in user.name, right? Okay. Um, so you'll come to your you'll come in to your dashboard and one of the courses you'll see is BUS 321 Principles of Macroeconomics and you will click on uh, the macroeconomics course. Okay, so uh, now uh, this is the course. When you come in, you'll come in at the home page. It'll say Principles of Macroeconomics. And you can see over here on the right side, there is a to-do list. You'll see this every time you come in. And you'll see the next thing that you have to do. So you can see that the very first thing you have to do in this class is Lesson 1, then Lesson 2, then there's a practice quiz, and then there is quiz number 1. Now as you complete these items in the to-do list, you can click on an X uh, next to it and that will remove it from the to-do list okay now there's another way that you can see these assignments you can go over to the syllabus and you can click here on um, the syllabus and that will pull up a PDF of the syllabus down here you can you can uh, tell the computer to open it and there is the syllabus but you can also see on the syllabus page uh, here's lesson one, lesson two, quiz one. Now what it's not showing in the syllabus, on this syllabus page, if we go back to the home page with the to-do list, you can see that it includes the practice quiz. Do not skip the practice quiz. That's important. That's going to prepare you and get you ready for the graded quiz. The practice quiz is not graded. The quiz, grade, the, the quiz number one, that is graded. You can take the practice quiz as many times as you want, and you can see the answers. But you can only take quiz number one one time, and you cannot see the answers. Now, the way I recommend that you do this, other than you can click on lesson one, lesson two, or you can go over here to modules. If you click on modules, you will see everything that is laid out for the entire semester. Now, you can see that everything is grayed out, and one of the reasons that everything is grayed out is because it hasn't opened yet. Okay, so um, on uh, 824, August 24th, you can see here, we'll unlock August 24th at 12 a.m. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually go ahead and unlock it so that you can see what it would look like when you're taking the course. Okay, so I'm going to go to modules, and now you can see that this module is now open. Uh, it doesn't say will open up, and so we can click on... Uh, lesson one and you can see here if we scroll down um, under lesson one here's lesson one one it's a YouTube video that's me and I, ex I I'm explaining economics introduction to economics part one and then uh, lesson one two and then lesson one three and so what you would be expected to do in this first lesson uh, is you would be expected to watch all three of these videos you want to sit at your uh, at your desk uh, or at a table with your laptop and paper and if I write it down on the whiteboard back here you're gonna write it down and so let's say we go ahead and click on lesson one one and all right folks there's welcome me to a semester in economics. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause or I'm gonna, gonna mute do this in... so that um, you can see me talking uh, but um, you know it's it's kind of small here right 
So what I recommend you do is go ahead and click on YouTube. If you if it'll allow you to click on YouTube and it'll open up in a new window and you can make it larger. Uh, and so you can see it bigger. You can hit full screen and it'll fill up the whole screen. Uh, something else you can do is you can click on closed captioning and it'll it'll show you me you know it, it'll read the words for you in case you if you don't understand something you can hit closed captioning and another thing that I really like is if you go here to settings and go to playback speed you can actually increase the speed up to double speed let's say we speed it up to maybe 1.75 speed right so let's go ahead and unmute it all right after I give you my definition, I'm going to break down the definition. Into and it goes a little bit faster. So you can have now, you don't want to do the whole thing this in really fast because some of it you you might want to pay more, you know, not more attention to. You want to pay attention to the whole thing. But, you know, some of it may be easier and some of it may be more difficult to understand. Okay. And so after you finish watching that video, you can exit out and you're done with and, and you took notes. You wrote down anything I wrote up on the board. You took notes. And so now you should have a notebook that has uh, a bunch of notes on economics as I explain ideas. So once we're done with lesson 1-1, one, one, we're going to go down here to lesson 1-2 and do the exact same thing. We're going to click on the video. The scientific again, study I'll of... Mute it. You can close caption if you want to. Obviously, you probably want to listen okay, to, what is, to the what, what, you know, me What's talking. happening over here? Well, this one's going to be really... So that you don't hear my voice double right now. Uh, and then again, you can speed it up if you want to. Playback speed. Let's move it up to maybe, you know, two. Make it really fast as I go there. Break it out to YouTube if I want, if we want to. Make it full screen if we want to. Um, so, and then after you watch lesson one, two, you're going to go to lesson one, three. And so that's like the equivalent of one day of class. Each lesson is the equivalent of one day of class. Now, of course, normally we have two days of class in this in this course, and so in one week you're going to do two lessons. So if we go back to modules, each module is one week. See, module one, week one, and you're doing lesson one and you're doing lesson two. So after you finish lesson one, you're going to go to lesson two, and in lesson two you can see that there are more videos. Okay, in this one there's three. Sometimes there's less than three, sometimes there's more than three. After you take notes on those three videos, then you'll go back to modules, and then you'll go down here to quiz one practice quiz. And so we'll click on that, and then here it says it's locked until August 24th. Okay, so you can't take it until the 24th. But there will be a button that says uh, start or begin quiz, and then after you're done, you can look at the answers because it's a practice quiz. Let me remind you, practice quizzes are not graded. Even though it says 40 points, the only reason I have points on the practice quiz is so that you can see how many points you might get on the normal quiz. So after you take the practice quiz, then you're going to go to the regular quiz right here, okay? which is always due on a Sunday. And then you'll take the regular quiz. Again, it's 40 points. It has to be done by August 30, 30th by 11.59 p.m., you have 60 minutes to take that quiz, and then um, and then once you submit it, you will you'll get a grade for it. And then once you finish the first week of class, once you finish that first module, the following week you will then go on to module two, and again you'll do the videos in lesson three, the videos in lesson four. You'll do the practice quiz, and then you will take quiz two. And you'll do this module three, module four is week four and then when you get to module five remember how I said after four weeks of learning you'll then take an exam so in module five you'll take exam one just like I said uh, it previously in this video okay all right so uh, that's it uh, that'll be the entire semester you just got to work through canvas uh, and then I will be available to help answer questions and that sort of thing if you want to send me a message please only message me through canvas the inbox over here you'll click on inbox You'll uh, type in my name, Michael Ryan, and you can send me a message, and uh, I can answer any questions that you might have, okay? All right, well, that's it. If you have any questions about getting started, uh, you can also send me a message in It's Learning. Uh, if, if you don't know how to get into Canvas or can't get into Canvas, send me a message in It's Learning. Uh, and I hope we have a great semester, and I'll see you later.